What's up guys, Axis here. Time to jump into a run with the new characters, see if we can get one of the, uh, the three builds running here. Uh, I'm not gonna say which build it is because I really don't know. It's all gonna depend on what we get going here. So let's jump into it and see what happens here. None of these are really good for what I'm wanting, but starting weapon, we can make it work. Maybe if I can aim, my lord. Not starting off well here. What is my aim right now? Hopefully this improves. I don't really like that. Probably end up dropping that scroll. But... It can be nice if we don't get a good weapon. What is... I feel like my thing is just like going through them right now. I don't know what's happening. Alright, glove. That's much better. Okay, well... Flying sword base damage. They're both really good. We're gonna... Alright, we're going sword, Mancer boys. It's gonna happen. We'll make it happen. Gotta will it into existence. Something I care for. Shield armor boost. That's always nice. Oof. Okay. As nice as this is, this is going to do the exact same thing and will end up being more worth technically at the end. Uh, so, we're going to go for Sword Shadow there to get pretty much double swords now at that point. Such fun, fun ability. So much fun. You just hold that down and you're back to max already. Ooh, one of the new swords, those are fun, but for the stuff I'm going for, she a chance to ammo to the mag, that's actually super nice. And a big hippo, which is also really nice. Not a great roll, but...
Oh, this is so sketch, but it's God, it can work out so nice. We get normal speed and preemptive strike. Okay, so normal speed is nice. Preemptive strike isn't going to do a whole lot for us with this build. But. Why not? Oh, replace big hippo inscriptions. That sounds nice. I kept the decay effect, but it got range and accuracy, which that's actually super nice. Easy peasy. Ammo capacity gets doubled. Kind of nice. My stack's back up here. Hmm, I mean, that's kind of <clears throat> kind of nice. Just for the downtime areas. Alright, next stack, that's another good one. Quick. Ooh, all right. Man, if we can get that one to the third level, then we are going to be pretty much golden. Double. Those are all these doubles here. Come on. What is happening? Come on now. Okay, because they're all just going to be doubles. Yep. Sure, free lucky shot chance. Oh. Did not juke that one up. Free max health, if close. I think I'm going to try and just buff up laser gloves because it's got a chance to recover half the ammo in the mag when you kill an enemy, which is really, really nice. Um, Big Hippo is nice, but this has a way faster rate of fire as well, which helps us a lot. 
is good. Damage against burning effect. Okay. Good roll for that. Hey. And this is why we like the build. Already messing everything up. Phantom skin, sure, that's nice. Rainbow arch, tower. Okay, well this is nice. I mean, it's not a super preferable one for my build, but that is nice. More they take more damage and the swords home in on them. Can't go wrong with that. Just for throwing out an ability real quick. Could have been much worse. I think honestly for the ascensions we have this early in the game, I mean it's going perfectly fine, so. You can essentially just keep spamming this. You don't need to go for max stacks all the time. But if you know you're coming up against like a boss or a tougher enemy, it's nice to typically try and get like the full stacks. Like right now, and this guy is going to spawn. I'll have a full eight stack to throw on him. Didn't really do much. But that's why you keep doing it. Hmm. Oh, that's a tough one. It's got more mag capacity, faster reload speed. The rate of fire after killing an enemy is actually really nice on that. This one's got naturally 25% more. Is that 1530? I'm going to take that over the big hippo and we'll test it. Yeah, long shot's kind of nice. Yeah, that rate of fire and the long shot is actually super good right now. This will overwrite that shock effect. That'd be nice, but my luck, it's going to get uh, rate of fire after killing an enemy. Of course it did. <laughs> That's my luck, for sure. That's this one. Oh, max stack. There we go. Okay, that's going to be really nice now. Now we're going to recover stacks really fast with the with the glove. And 
obviously have more stacks, which means more uh, swords. As you can see, that's a lot. So now if I can get the other one that increases how many swords per stack, that's where this starts really getting nasty. Curse scrolls, that's always kind of nice to have, might as well. Uh, I guess we can completely reroll this glove, huh? Corrosion, explosion, lucky shot. Mags more than 50% full, 50% rate of fire, and projectiles, 50%, oh, okay. That's actually really, really good, because then as soon as you kill an enemy, you reload, you're getting... Alright, this should be really high rate of fire, so... Oof, actually that's super, super good for this glove. So now instead of needing to reload after get a kill, you can just dash and re full reload. Ooh. <laughs> Dang, that's risky, but that's going to make me do so much damage. We're going to go for it. We're going for it. High risk, high reward. That's how we like to do it. Dash reload is super, super nice for this. I think that was a, a good little showing of what this build can start doing. It's so much fun when you can just almost just start spamming the swords like crazy. Oh no. And we're getting two additional swords per stack now. Okay. Just so you guys can see what this looks like already. I mean, the amount of swords here. That's a lot of swords. And the fact that our max stack is now just five, we can essentially just keep spamming it, is just... I mean... Is this not insane? Almost a decent hippo.
It's just too fun. Um, hmm. technically this is nice because I don't increase skill damage uh, for every unmarked enemy that it marks. It can equate to a lot, so if we get a big mob, we can just, boom, toss one of those and do some damage like this. I mean, come on. <laughs> I mean, I guess reducing damage by 30% is nice considering how much we're casting now. Let's so take the ammo. Like to get swords out damage now. Big sword craft here. Like to get either of these right now, or what I'm really shooting for. Um, this is also super nice because of how many swords we're shooting now. Um, I mean, they shoot really, really quick, so you're hitting a bunch of times within one second. So the amount of stacks that's hitting is going to stack your damage up pretty good. This can be nice as well. Yeah, mainly these two are what I really, really want to get. That's what we're shooting for. Chance to fill when killing an enemy, piercing. That's not a bad big hippo. The problem is I want high, high rate of fire right now. Not a whole lot that comes close to the rate of fire on the gloves, so we're going to keep rolling with the gloves. Got a Gemini on there. That'll be nice. Good egg. Well, actually, I should do mag capacity. Because uh, then I can get something like a big hippo and combine the mag capacity and just have just tons and tons of ammo. All right. I mean, this is the best I've had this build going so far. So we'll see how much it does on a on a big boy boss like this at the point I'm at right now. I mean, it's it's definitely not bad. It's just so easy to get max stacks and just keep spraying the swords like that. It's so cool. Lightless shield, sure. Man, it's tough because take less damage, but this honestly, for every flying sword summoned, increase max shield by two for six seconds and recover two shield. This is essentially just going to keep us alive permanently, even at just level one of that. I mean, we'll see how high the shield goes just from one cast here. Like doubles our shield like instantly just for casting it once. 
And seeing as how we can almost just keep casting this, I mean, that's just going to be raising our shield up and restoring shield at the same time, so. Theoretically, if played right, it should be very, very hard to kill us right now. Sick thing. This is kind of nice since we're shooting so fast, might as well. Don't see our shield really hitting zero too often, so I don't want that. Okay, well, I mean, for every stack of Blade Heart, increased weapon and skill damage by 8%. We're at 9 stacks now. So that's actually, actually pretty good. There's a lot of enemies spawning here, man. Yeah, sure, why not? That's a tough one. If it gets rid of one of the first two, I'm fine. I just gotta hope I keep bottom two here. And we did with mag capacity. Oh no, if we get a Gemini with a big hippo now, we're gonna have a lot of ammo. It's also gonna increase the rate of fire. Actually, because it's the rate of fire, 
sum of both weapons, magazine capacity, and rate of fire plus 25%. Yeah, so if I get... If I do it with the other glove, even, that rate of fire is going to be insane. Man, not getting as lucky on these last few levels here. Hopefully... Get one of the other ones that I want here. rough because we're uh, immune. I mean, I could do it on this one. Just see what it gives me. Immune to curse scrolls, right? Took that. Yeah. So let's just see what happens. Crit X. Oh, less than the rate of fire. That sucks. Okay. Well, it is what it is. Open this, see what we get first. Okay, there we go. That double damage essentially. Need to find something to get another Gemini. A really high rate of fire on it or mag capacity. That now I don't want to do all of it. Yeah, that's way more damage. That is absolutely insane. Too good. Uh, I don't think anything dropped up there. Look like it. It's a chest. Yeah, I'll take it. Can't go wrong with dash cooldown, especially when that's reloading for us. Well, last time. It seems like a good build. This boss is kind of tricky to crit on properly sometimes. But, yeah, we're taking that for sure. Couldn't get the Gemini effect going, which sucks, but I don't even really need it. See how this works out. It's 
This works out nice. Got the uh, alternate boss in the first run as well. This is actually my first uh, first run even trying to record, so I'm actually really happy with the way this went. Oh, that did a big old chunk of damage. Oh, man. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Just immortal from the sword spam, recovering and making the shield bigger. Doing tons of damage. Such a fun build. Oh, man. So much fun. Uh, I know a lot of you did say that you wanted to see my ascensions at the end of the run, so we'll go ahead and go over what I got uh, through this one. This did work out really well for the, uh, what I like to call the Sword Vancer build that I was kind of theory crafting a little bit. First time I've gotten it to run this well, which is actually awesome, and it's my first time even doing a run tonight, so I'm really happy with this. Um, got this up to level two, so essentially for every stack that we had a Blade Heart, we were summoning two additional swords. Um, which it already summons three for each stack. So with this, it's summoning five per stack. We had nine stacks. That's 45 swords every time we, uh, we shoot it. Or if we just kept spamming, we were at a minimum of five stacks because of this one. So, I mean, it's just, it's tons. It's tons of swords. And every time we were shooting because of this, we were getting more max shield and recovering shield. So between... These, this one, and this one, and this one technically, it was just making us immortal because anytime anything did hurt us, we were recovering shield and getting more max shield. So there was like no way, unless we took a real big hit and didn't have a way to hit anything, we, we literally couldn't have died really on that run. Um, so yeah, we got two on that. We got two on this, so 200% more damage on Flying Sword, which mixed with how many we were shooting is just awesome awesome damage i mean you can see at the end there right after i got this how much more damage it started doing immediately just from getting this if you can get these both to three as well as this say, say goodbye to anything because you're, you're gonna just be destroying everything uh we took one stack of this just to reduce damage that we're taking while we're using swords out which didn't really need it because we ended up getting this but this is also nice. Uh, if you don't have something like this, this actually is kind of almost almost needed at times because if you are in the middle of casting, this will save you if you're getting hit. Um, especially at level 3. You can't drop below 1 HP while you're casting. So while you're casting, especially as often as we were, you just can't die. That's super, super good. Uh, we took this, which ended up actually working out really nicely. It increases your weapon damage and skill damage by 8% for every stack of Blade Heart. So we had 9 stacks because we had level 3 of Luminous Heart. So that's a ton. Um, this was just kind of a one-off that I didn't have any better choices. Just 10% chance while damaging with a weapon to summon a Flying Sword. Our Flying Swords are doing decent damage and we had a really high fire rate. So these were procking off fairly often which is kind of nice, but with how often we were shooting off the uh, swords out, this wasn't really even a tiny portion of what the real damage was. Uh, we had no escape. I didn't really use this. I didn't even, <laughs> I didn't even use Fla Fatal Bloom because I, I didn't even need to. I probably should have been just because we took this, um, which makes them take 20% more damage and the swords home in on them. This kind of might have also screwed me up because I was killing stuff so fast anyway. If they were honing honing in on like the the enemies that were marked, it might have been screwing up me aiming at other enemies because I was just kind of flailing it around, like taking out whole mobs with it. So this might have kind of screwed me up. Um, this same thing. I could have been using it, probably should have been, but didn't really need it. We're playing on normal. Um, on elite, these probably would have been really really nice. Um, this is just essentially more weapon damage and skill damage, eight percent per enemy that you mark that's not already marked, so these two together would have been actually really, really good because if you hit a big group and you do 8% per enemy, and then also they're taking 20% more, 
it would have would have been really nice, but I didn't I didn't need it. I was already doing so much damage. Um, scrolls. I guess the main ones that I'd say, <laughs> obviously, Deadly Curse was making a big chunk of damage there. That's super super nice, uh, especially since we were recovering so much shield that our HP didn't really matter. Um, this I got right at the end, so I wouldn't really say that was helping a whole lot. This was kind of nice. Uh, with the high fire rate and high magazine capacity, this is just recovering ammo into the to the magazine a lot of times. This was really nice for this build to not have to worry about reloading. Just dash and you got full ammo back again, so you can essentially just permanently shoot, keep your stacks rising, and not have to worry about the reload. Um, let's see. This is nice. I like movement speed in this game. If I can find something to get movement speed with, I'll take it. So this mixed with being able to raise our max shield by uh, summoning the swords from uh, swords out was making me have a lot more movement speed, which is one of my favorite things. I feel like you move so slow in this game with base speed, which is why I like this hero, because you get movement speed stacks for killing enemies. Um, long shot was helping out quite a bit with uh, my weapon. My weapon really wasn't doing that much damage. I mean, it was able to kill stuff, but the majority of my, my damage was definitely coming from, from using swords out. Uh, double ammo capacity, nice, didn't really need it in the end. This is kind of nice as well because of how fast we were shooting, but again, it was just kind of bolstering my weapon to make it more viable, even though it wasn't the main source of damage. Uh, dash cooldown, you can never go wrong with dash cooldown. That's always, always like one of my top ones to take if I have a choice. And that was also doing essentially nothing for me. Um, so that's kind of what we had on this one. It was a lot of fun. I think we uh, kicked some kick some ass on that run. That was a lot of fun. I'm going to try and get uh, two more videos out this week um, on the other builds, one on the weapon build and one on Fatal Bloom. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I definitely did. This run was a lot of fun. Uh, stay tuned for the other ones. Thanks. Peace.